Hi friends, my name is Miguel Villarreal and I've had the good fortune of being the Food Service Director for the Nevada Unified School District for the last 17 years. And during that time we've had so many positive changes in our program to improve the health and well-being of children in our community. And I want to share a story with you because we did that not alone, but by working with a large contingency of people within the school district. We worked with our teachers, our school administrators, our school board, our students, uh, PE instructors, our nurses, uh, all working towards improving health and wellness in the schools. And we also reached out to the extended community. And the extended community included our, our families, our farmers, our nonprofit uh, organizations, our city officials, our um, health allied organizations, and our higher education, our county office of education, uh, and so many others that just came to um, the table with us. And so what we did every day is we connected the three C's, the cafeteria, the classroom, and the community. Uh, so I wanna just share a quick story with you uh, and tell, tell the story, if you will. And that is uh, how we all came around the farm to school table. My name is Sharon Desjardins. I work for Novato Unified School District at Novato High School since 2007 under Miguel Villarreal, who has brought uh, great things to our district. Hi, I'm Beth Kraft, and I'm a teacher teaching currently second grade at Loma Verde School here in the Novato Unified School District. I've worked with Miguel for quite a long time in his many years in the district. Um, we did a lot of work around school gardens and working to bring food from the school garden into the cafeteria. We also did some great gleaning projects where we went out to local organic farms and gleaned food that otherwise would have been turned back into soil. I'd like to thank Miguel for his years of service to the Nevada Unified School District. Miguel has really changed the culture of our district around food. Um, his concentration on health and wellness has been amazing. Uh, his gleaning activities, his getting rid of tater tots in the schools and bringing in fruits and vegetables and beef and really educating all of us about what it means to eat healthy. He models that as in his own personal lifestyle and through everything he's done in our district over the past million years, um, he's really been fantastic and, and really uh, changed our eating habits in this school district for our kids and for adults. And for that, I really appreciate all that he's done. Hi, I'm Sophia Sodio, a Novato parent. I'm really happy about what Miguel and the fans team has been doing at the Novato schools. My daughter's been eating school lunch here for the last three years, and she loves the food, and she loves the garden where she would come and eat snacks out of the garden and it gives her all this energy to run around and do cartwheels and just be a kid. Like any table around a, a home, you have people that should be around there. And I realized right away that there were some people that were missing from this table. There was food on this table that shouldn't be there. Uh, and then there was some food that wasn't at this table as well. With that in mind, we started making some changes. So one of the first things that we did in the cafeteria uh, with the first C is that we looked at the products that we were, we were serving. And at that time, there was a lot of highly processed foods being served. Uh, we had sodas in the school. This is back in 2002. Uh, we had uh, pastries and chocolate milk and juice and uh, many other highly processed items that contained uh, lots of sugars uh, in these products. The other thing we've been able to do with our, our partners is bring in uh, grants that have been able to provide funding uh, for culinary training for our staff, which is something that prior to 2002 uh, we didn't have in our school district. We've also been able to uh, purchase uh, equipment through grants that we've received that makes our job a little bit more efficient. And then the other thing that we wanted to do early on is inter uh, introduced the gardens. We, there was gardens in the schools, but they were vacant. They weren't really being used. Uh, so we've secured some funding with the help of some parents, uh, and we brought in gardens uh, into all of our schools. And today, uh, the gardens are being maintained by volunteers. Uh, they range from uh, at different levels, depending on the uh, capacity that's available at the school sites. 
but uh, one of the most beautiful gardens that we have in our in the Water Unified School District is over at Lou Sutton Elementary, uh, especially during the, the harvest. If you ever get a chance to come out to see that garden during the harvest and usually uh, late spring, early summer, it's blooming. It's just a beautiful garden. You need to come out and see it. Uh, and then the other thing that uh, that I learned soon after, I think during this process, was that we needed to also educate our students and our teachers in terms of the work that we were doing. And so in around three years ago, which is around 2017 or 16, we introduced wellness in the, in the schools. And that's a culinary education class where we actually uh, go into a school and provide culinary education classes to all the students. We started in 2000. 16-17 uh, with uh, one school, uh, 300 students, uh, and then that over the last three years we've expanded that program uh, to over 3,500 students at all our elementary schools and one middle school. Uh, so the kids are getting one hour of nutrition education and hands-on culinary training. And today I've got parents saying to me, Miguel, how did you get my child to eat kale? Or how did you get my child to eat tomatoes? And we're seeing the, the, the increase of consumption on some of these labs that we teach. We've, we've done a spinach lab as well. Spinach consumption has gone up uh, in, in the uh, cafeteria on our salad bar. So again, it's connecting the three C's, the cafeteria and the classroom and the community. Uh, we've reached out to our, our PE instructors uh, in, our, in our schools, uh, PE teachers. And what they're doing is providing well, uh, in motion um, before school exercises for all the students and teachers and parents. Um, and they get the kids ready to learn uh, that day. And during that time, they also talk ab about nutrition and what's being served in the cafeteria that day. And so it's, again, it's, a, it's a, another way of getting the word out to everybody. Uh, my name is Matt Gardner and I am a physical education teacher at Rancho and Linwood Elementary Schools in the Nevada Unified School District. Uh, I have had the pleasure of working with Miguel uh, for the last 16 years. I'm very sorry to see him go. Uh, through the years, I've spent a lot of time working with Miguel uh, on several different initiatives. Uh, Miguel has been so great at reaching out to different teachers and different groups within the district and bringing them together and talking about the importance of healthy living and healthy foods. This is Shilpa Velkur. I am a food and nutritional service site manager at Rancho Elementary for the past five years. I have been very inspired of what the work has been done with this district regarding a healthier lifestyle for the kids. One of the first things we did was start a breakfast in the classroom uh, pro, uh, because we, at the time, we were only reaching about 50 students of the um, 1,600 kids that qualified for our free and reduced meals. All the breakfast is available to all students, the, the students that were primarily participating in our program, were the kids that were coming from disadvantaged families. And, it, and back then, it was only like 50 students a day that we were serving. When we implemented the breakfast in the classroom, we went to uh, serving 1,400 students a day uh, within a year. And uh, we managed to keep that up for a while. Uh, and, and now we're actually uh, reintroducing breakfast in the classroom uh, in our schools. So again, with the analogy of the farmer's school table, we've talked about who wasn't at the table. And I talked about our teachers. And I talked about uh, our, uh, our classroom teachers but our, and our uh, physical education teachers as well, as well as our nurses in the schools. Um, and uh, our administrators and our school board. Those are all people that uh, are now around the table and supporting our, our program. So now, who else is not at this table, our farm to school table? And that is the extended community. And so the extended community, as I said earlier, uh, included our farmers, uh, our nonprofits, our health allied organizations, uh, our higher education. Those groups came to the table and have helped us in many ways. And initially, how they all got involved was through our student wellness policy uh, program where we actually brought in all these groups uh, to help us identify uh, uh, areas that we were lacking in our schools uh, in terms of uh, wellness and what we could do to improve uh, wellness uh, throughout the community. 
Hi, my name is Lauren Poncha with Stemple Creek Ranch here in West Marin, Tomales Bay area. Uh, I've known Miguel for about five to eight years and uh, admired some of the work that he's done. And uh, we raise high quality grass finished beef and lamb here in West Marin. It was a real great opportunity for us to work with Miguel to get high quality uh, grass fed proteins into the school. So we're excited to work with Miguel and happy that uh, he chose us as a local partner to provide high quality protein for the kids. We also have coordinated uh, over the years uh, gleaning programs where we've actually gone out to farms and gleaned uh, the uh, second harvest if you will uh, and that initially that those gleaning programs we took families out they got to meet got to see where the food was grown the kids were also engaged uh, and many of these foods would, after we collected the, the produce uh, that food made it back into the schools and so we were gleaning on Monday the food was delivered on Tuesdays and then it was served in, uh, in the uh, cafeteria and on the salad bars on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So literally from, from the farm to the table. Hi, I'm Lori Davis, the Executive Director of Sanzuma, and we partner with schools in Marin County to help increase wellness through food systems. So I've been partnering with Miguel Villarreal in Nevada School District for the past five years helping to create school gardens and to be able to eat the produce from the gardens in the school meal program. So we have exciting news that starting this fall we'll be opening a Novato school slash community farm with the Novato School District and the City of Novato. The other thing that we've, uh, we've been addressing over the years is food waste. Uh, you heard me talk earlier about food waste with milk. We also have food waste uh, with food that isn't consumed by children, uh, food that's left over. Many times it's, it's, it's food that just didn't get served. Uh, we plan for an X amount of servings and stu students didn't arrive, so it's, it's leftover food. That leftover food over the years uh, has, had just been thrown in the trash. So we started, we, uh, started working with an organization called extrafood.org and collecting this food from all of our schools, all of our K-12 schools, uh, bringing it into a central location and what they do with that food is then they take that food and distribute it out to shelters uh, where that food is needed. Hi, I'm Kathy Carver from extrafood.org. Extra Food is a food recovery nonprofit whose mission is to end food waste and hunger in Marin County. And one of the most exciting partnerships we've had is with the Novato School District. And Miguel Villarreal has been instrumental in streamlining his operation so that Extra Food volunteers can pick up twice a week all the excess food from the Novato School District. And that food gets distributed directly to nonprofits serving vulnerable people. So to date, and this is after three and a half years of picking up from the Novato School District, District, we have managed to recover 19,000 pounds of food. So that's almost eight and a half tons of food that has been redistributed to needy people. That's exciting. And Extra Food is actually on its way to recovering three million pounds this year. To date, we've recovered 2.8 million pounds. So we're getting bigger. Thanks, Miguel. We've also been working with uh, higher education and bringing dietetic interns into our program, uh, exposing them to the type of work that we do in schools, having them see the relationship between uh, healthy eating and uh, education. Uh, and so it's been an incredible program. It's opened up the eyes of many young dietetic interns that had no idea of the impact that a school food service program could have in the community to improve uh, and create these nutrition and wellness environments. Hi, I'm Susan Sherman. I'm with the Golden Gate Dietetic Internship Program. And with this program to meet the needs of ins inspiring dietitians would not happen without the thoughtful support and contributions made by Miguel Villarreal. He has been there from the get-go, taking our interns every year, no matter what, there must have been, oh, 40 or 50 young people who are now 
realizing their dreams as registered dietitians because of his efforts. Every year he provides us with feedback and incredible um, ideas of how to improve our program. He's on our advisory board and he even helps write the rotation evaluations and all kinds of improvements for our program so that we can have a quality program. In closing, uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone uh, that I've met along the way. Uh, you have truly been uh, inspirational to me uh, and have given me some insight and some knowledge that I didn't have come before I came to Novato. Uh, you've been supportive all along the way. Um, I, I think of you every day in terms of the work that we do. You, you honestly hold a special place in my heart where you will continue to stay um, because I know that you're, I may be leaving, but you're staying and we need you to continue to be supportive of the Child Nutrition Program in the Nevada Unified School District because you're the reason that we are where we are today. Um, you're the reason that we're being able to make these changes. You've been there all along supporting the program, ensuring that, that all these things that I talked about that are now at this farm to school table remain there and continue to improve and continue to um, uh, provide the, the nourishment, if you will, for all of our students a year. Um, I've always believed that uh, eating healthy uh, for all children is a right uh, and not a privilege for the few. Uh, I hope that our paths uh, cross in the future. Uh, and if I can leave you with one thought, it's this, is that be well and help others be well. Thank you.